Hello everyone, thanks for watching this real short w uh, video focusing on job costing improvements within Enterprise Solutions 14. Uh, some stuff that's exciting. Uh, jobs time and mileage. There's a couple reports. There's a job whip summary report uh, that shows the earned revenue column. Now this is uh, a report that defaults to accrual base, just so you guys know. Accrual basis, I should say, not cash basis. Um, there's no, when you customize it, there's not something that shows it, that, you know, that cash basis is grayed out. But uh, just so you know, uh, so you have an earned revenue uh, column here and a percent complete. So you don't have to actually run the, the percent complete. This would be like a summary without having to choose a particular job. So job uh, work and process report. And some of the columns you, you can drill into and some you can't. Uh, but it just gives you a good idea of what my earned revenue is so far on, say, the secondary edition for Brian Cook. All right, so excellent. Uh, help, very helpful for there. I know you guys were using workarounds before for that. Another report, um, also under jobs, time, and mileage, and only found within Enterprise 14, is the committed cost by job report. Now, this is, I think, a huge win. Basically, the story here is at purchase orders and time. When you sign it to a job, they will not show the cost until you put it on a posting transaction. So now I actually have time, though I can't drill into the unpaid wages, but I haven't put on a paycheck or a bill yet or a check. It shows the cost of the hours worked uh, for when I assigned those, you know, the, that time entry using either the weekly timesheet or the single, single time activity window to the particular job, as well as uh, purchase orders. Um, you know, the, the committed cost from a purchase order. And I think if I drill into that, you'll see the purchase order. And I mean, before you would have to kind of enter this, you know, enter a bill against it and then delete out the bill at the end of the period or something to get that cost before it's actually really on a posting document. So it's pretty exciting to, to have uh, things that are on a purchase order, assigned to a job or time entry to show up as committed cost before their time or before what I mean by that is before they're put on a posting transaction. Uh, and probably my, my favorite is forever. Bills, credit card charges, and checks. You can't customize them. All right? You can't. So I'm going to go ahead and use my old, I think View Consulting is still in here. I like using this one. Or let's just use Gen here. That's fine. Um, and you can put on an amount. And I'll put an account for the work they're doing. And you know, this is uh, some kind of uh, repairs and maintenance work. And I'm going to sign it to a job, of course. You know, the family room for Chris Baker. Let me make this bigger. But I can actually right-click, and there's an option to customize columns now. And I can add uh, custom fields, sales rep, of course. that The ability to assign a sales rep to a job for a customer. That's new for Pro and Premier 2014. Obviously, it's then also an enterprise. But because I can now customize columns on these historically uh, uncustomizable purchase or cost documents is a huge win for contractors and those who are doing job costing and estimate to actual reporting, I should say, within QuickBooks. Just the ability to customize columns and add columns, even to the level of custom fields, it really you're customizing the bill uh, and you're customizing the actual check and the credit card charge. So that's uh, pretty exciting stuff that I can do that. And, and like I said, let me go ahead and just add the sales rep, even though I don't think I have one, but sales rep, and I can add that. Now it's a column over there, see? So I can choose the sales rep and even assign it on the cost transaction. So real interesting stuff. And keep in mind, I mean, I'm not going to see that when I preview it, you know, or print it out. Uh, because, again, there's no formatting of a bill or check or credit card charge, right? But still, being able to customize it on the screen and see it and save it on the window, very helpful. And, of course, it'll flow through the reporting as well. So those are some of the job cost uh, improvements and enhancements with an Enterprise 14. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.